Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to save a file. So to get started, let's open the TechMaker. I've typed in a content like how to save a file. So initially, if you see here, uh, that default uh, the file name will be untitled one. So which means that indicates that the file is not saved. And if you see a uh, mark here, like that represents that this file is not saved. So that's an indication that this is not saved early. So this is a document that is ready to be saved. There are a couple of ways you can save this file. Um, you can press Control S if you are a Windows user. So you can press Control S. That will open up a dialog box called Save Us. That will show us the uh, location where you can save the files. For example, if I wanted to save it in a desktop, I can go to desktop and I can save it. Or if I wanted to uh, go to a repository like uh, D drive or E drive or F drive, whichever might be. So you can uh, save it in that particular location. For this example, I'm going to save it in the uh, location called desktop. So I'm going to go desktop. Um, it is highly recommend uh, to save the files within a repository or within a folder. So I'll tell you why it is exactly, uh, it is appreciable to um, save it in a repository because when you add an uh, image file or a multimedia file uh, as associated with your document so it'll be nice if everything gets saved in a single folder or a single repository so it'll be easy for the access and also it'll be um, good because when there are when they have a multiple document have the same names then there will be a clash between the documents and that might lead to a compilation error in the future so i recommend you to save uh, all the content within the uh, single folder or so. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to say a new folder. Uh, I'm going to call it a be a demo. So I'm going to open the folder. Now the file name. It's very important to uh, understand the uh, file name and its extension. Say, so for example, I'm going to type in the file name to be uh, text. Uh, text file or a test file or anything which is which you like uh, test file will be like test file or test space file or somebody likes it called test underscore file whatever uh, be your interest you can make sure that you type in that particular uh, format but the default location for these uh, files are dot tx so this is the default uh, file location you can provide the extension or you don't provide it it will automatically consider to be a tech file unless otherwise specified all the files uh, saved by this gets saved as a tech file but if you happen to provide uh, the extension called bib that will save this file as a bibliography file and if you happen to save this to be an sty file that will save as a style file and uh, this is .cls called class file and so on. Uh, for this example, I'm going to make it or leave it as a .tx file. So I'm gonna, not going to type any extension. So it automatically type in test file. So when I save, just kindly look into this thing. Let's see what happens. When I save, you see that uh, mark gets vanished and the file untitled one changes to be a te test underscore file. That is what we have given for the uh, file file name and this is the uh, way you can save the file supposing if I wanted to save it in a some other location so I'm gonna click file and I'm gonna go down to save us and uh, instead of for a desktop demo I'm gonna save it in a desktop itself without the folder in this case I'm gonna call this to be a test underscore file underscore copy just like an, another name which you can use to differentiate between two documents and so on. So let's see what happens if I press that uh, extension and I'm going to click save. Okay. So now we have got two files. Uh, one is the uh, one that gets saved in the desktop without the folder. I mean outside the folder. And another version is in the folder. Let's open the one which that's in the folder. Say for example, this is the demo one and it's within the folder. And to differentiate that, I've just had copy in one thing and without copy in other things. So which means I can navigate to different files by doing this arrow marks in the tech maker. 
and that's it. So this is how you save the file in uh, uh, TechMaker. Um, let's uh, see why I said like uh, save a file within a folder. Say for example, when I compile the one which is in the folder, for example, the one which is in the desktop and within the folder called demo, I'm quickly compiling it. So it, when it compiles, yeah, it says how to save a file. So when I close this for a moment, and if I open the folder called demo, you see all the associated files get saved very neatly within a folder. So this is the reason why we uh, recommend to save the files within the folder. I'll close this for a moment, and let's see. Let's compile the document that is outside, no, that is saved outside the uh, folder or not within the folder. Let's quickly compile this. Yeah, so this also it's the same results, but when you minimize this, you can probably see you have got a lot of these files. So this is not gonna uh, be a good way of saving it because once you have multiple documents, like we need to differentiate uh, one of them, one among each other. So it'll be nice if you see or if you save it in a folder. Okay, so let's close this for a moment. Let's take the file that gets saved uh, within the folder called demo. So supposing if I'm gonna uh, make some modification in the folder. Whenever I do some modification, you see this, uh, this mark gets appears. So which means that even though the file which I've uh, saved it, but I'm making some modifications uh, from the existing one. So this represents this, like this file need to be saved. So for example, I'm gonna type in how to save a file in uh, Tech Maker. So this represents uh, that this file is not yet saved. I can go here and I can give save. Or if you are very much uh, comfortable with the keyboard shortcuts, it's Control S. So let's save by this way. Then I'm just compiling, compile this document. Let's see what happens when I compile this document. Yeah, it automatically gets updated, and that updation happens uh, in the folder, and you can see that in the output. Yes, that gets automatically updated in the output. Okay, so this is all regarding the uh, procedure or the process by which we can save a file. And if you have any queries, you can write it to me and I'll be glad to help you uh, out with, with whatever uh, solution I could probably give. Okay, so thank you so much and have a great day.